Okay, welcome. Now we are going to see how to write a teleport script using the game tutorial that came with a cheat engine. So open the cheat engine tutorial game and then select level 3. So just shoot on the level 3 icon and you go to level 3. So to write a teleport script, we have to find the x, uh, the address of the x coordinate and y coordinate, especially the y coordinate. So we move the player to the left and then we have to attach to the game click open attach to the game tutorial and then here select the value type as float and then the scan type is initial unknown initial value click first scan now you get a lot of hits and now move the player to the right click uh, before you click next scan set the scan type to increase value and then click next scan This should reduce the hits. Now, move the player to the right and then click next scan again. Move the player to the right, click next scan again. Move the player to the right, click next scan again. You will see the found hits less and less, getting less and less. Just keep repeating it. And now, move the player to the left and now detect for decreased value. We click next scan, we are down to 57 hits. And now, repeat the same thing decrease value next scan and now we left one so let's put it into the table and then freeze it and then we can't move it so that means we have found it and give a description for this call it uh, player x coordinate okay so now we can right click and go to browse to the memory section memory region and then here display as float display type as float Okay, so here now we move the player left and right and we see which one reds, lights up. So the one we want is next to the, the one that lights up. So this is must be the uh, Y coordinate. Add this to the table and give it a name. B player Y. Y coordinate. Okay, so now we have both coordinates. So select player Y coordinate. And then here you can... Uh, right click and find out what writes to this address this will attach the debugger yes and then you see there are two two instructions you can what select one by one but i found that the second one is the correct one if the wrong one you can change later but let's go straight to the right one the bottom one so here click on show in this assembler and that is the instruction that writes to the x coordinate to the y coordinate so what you want to do is assemble an aob injection here so to assemble an aob injection you just have to select the uh, tools and then scroll down to auto assemble then under template, click on template, select AOB injection, array of bytes, click OK, OK. And then over here, we have to allocate some memory for a new label called JCONS for jump constant. Allocate 4 bytes for that. And then here, we will then declare the double word. We write our, we write our label which we have just declared and declare a double word td of type float sorry should be float in brackets and the value will be negative one negative one is the direction to move up so how do i know that if you were to go back to table and put negative one here be okay you'll find the player will go up to the top it will teleport to the top a distance of negative one see that so let's try that again so that you can see clearer so i move everything to the side so that you have a better view okay put negative one and you see it went to the top i move it to the right a bit more 
try one more time negative one alright negative one alright let's freeze it okay let's freeze it click on it to freeze and now we set the value to negative one and it will go straight to the top teleport to the top see that if we turn off the freezing trust back to the bottom so that's how i know it's negative one so we can put it in the script on the the value of the um, j constant as negative one so now under the new, new mem label we will then uh, move uh, ss single scalar to the xmm1 register the the pointer that contains the float negative one so the the uh, variable is uh, j constant the label is j constant so now here we can attach it to our script should be correct so after we move negative one to m x m m one we can let it run the rest of the code so we attach to the script already and now here you can you can activate it by clicking on it and you see the moment we activate it it jumps to the top if we deactivate it it comes back to the bottom so we can also change the value of the teleport the height jump by changing the float here 0 0.5 for example